When planning a vacation, families want to make sure they're getting the most for their money. Of course, they also want to have a great time, whether that means fun and adventure or rest and relaxation. Whatever type of vacation you're looking for, there's a magical place where you can have it all. Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. Come along as we follow three families taking three very different vacations, all for the same price tag of $1,600. All that and more is coming up on What You Get for the Money Vacations Walt Disney World Resort. Hi, I'm Tracy Gallagher, and welcome to What You Get for the Money Vacations Walt Disney World Resort. This place is the most visited family vacation spot in the world. With 47 square miles of things to do here, there's something for everyone, no matter what your budget or your interests. <laughs> Over the next hour, we'll introduce you to three families and follow them as they explore the theme parks and resorts. And I was supposed to meet some friends to help me. Hi, how are you? Good to see you guys. Let's go get this vacation started, huh? All right. Our three families, one with young girls, one with three teenage boys, and one couple of empty nesters will experience different aspects of Walt Disney World while each keeps to a budget of $1,600. First, let's check in on the family with two young girls. Hi, guys. Hi there. Hi there. This is the Pacheco family, and they've come all the way from San Diego, California. And Lisa and Brent, you and your kids, Haley and Sydney, have never been to Walt Disney World before. No. What is it you want in a vacation that made you choose Walt Disney World? Well, we've been to Disneyland before where we got to spend one day, but we get to spend a whole week here. Oh, yeah, in a week. There, you're going to do so many fun things, and what are you most excited about doing? Oh, I see Cinderella. Oh, Cinderella, um, very special. Well, I'm sure you're tired of talking to me, so why don't we get this vacation started? Let's huh? go. Yeah, let's go. We couldn't wait to get out here and enjoy all the ex different experiences that they have to offer. This family needs a vacation. It's about time, and it's been a long time since we went on one. The Pacheco family is checking in at Disney's All-Star Music Resort, where they will be staying for four nights and five days with Disney's five-day Magic Your Way plus dining package. The Magic Your Way package gets them admission to one park each day of their trip. This will give these Walt Disney World first-timers plenty of time to do everything on their list. The room was great. The girls are arguing over what pool we're going to be swimming in today. One of them wants the piano-shaped pool and the other one's looking for the guitar. After some fun at the resort pool, the Pachecos head off to visit the first theme park on their list, the Magic Kingdom. All resort guests can take advantage of the Walt Disney World transportation system that takes them door to door across the property to all four theme parks, water parks, downtown Disney, and all 23 resorts. At the Magic Kingdom, the first thing the girls want to see is Mickey's PhilharMagic. The 3D feature combines all your favorite Disney characters into one show that airs on the largest seamless projection screen in the world. PhilharMagic is really a very unique show. It's the first time we've taken all of our characters, added the 3D factor, and really brought the music and sound and the panoramic view of seeing them in the magic and in their element. Next, the family is off to the Disney Dreams Come True Parade on Main Street, where they'll come face to face with many classic Disney characters. Oh, the girls are so excited. I can't wait to see the parade! The parade features countless Disney characters on themed floats as they sing and dance their way down Main Street, USA. floats are really just spectacular. There's wonderful music that goes along with that and really some great interaction along the parade route for the entire families. Most families make sure that they plan their day around that and it's a must see. After a quick stop at the gift shop, Haley and Sydney are appropriately dressed for their princess meet and greet, another must do activity for the younger set. 
The meet and greet gives families an opportunity to get some one-on-one -on -one time with some of their favorite characters, like Belle. With autograph books in hand, the girls get to ask all of their important questions. How's the bees? They have these great princess dresses that we just got with the little capelets. They were so excited. They love their princesses. The magical experience you usually walk away with is that moment where she's kind of recognized you individually, had a little time to kind of chat with you and find out why you came to see her. And we've never even been to Disney World before. Oh, they just had a little meet and greet with Belle, who's Haley's favorite princess. They were really surprised. They were very excited. And when she came out, it just made their day. We got to see Belle, and she was giving autographs. She said that the beast reads. There are many characters available to meet and greet throughout the day, but these girls were thrilled to find Cinderella right outside her famous castle. Cinderella. She said that she lives in that castle behind the trees. Next, the Pacheco set sail on It's a Small World. This musical boat ride features 300 dolls representing countries from all around the world. And it's been a favorite of both young and old for decades. Also in Fantasyland, another of the Magic Kingdom's most popular rides, Dumbo. With 47 rides, there literally is something for kids of all ages. Kind of the favorite is probably Fantasyland, so it's the classics that everybody's grown up with. So, you know, there's really something for the entire family. I like having the competition with Daddy to see who can go higher, and I think we won. Oh, no, we won. <laughs> nope. When it's time to eat, their package also includes a meal plan that allows the family of four one table service meal, one quick service meal, and a snack option each day. The family is excited for their first stop, Chef Mickey's over at the Contemporary Resort. Here the girls get a chance to see a real celebrity chef in action. I can't wait for dessert. And although Mickey is a pretty busy chef, he always makes time to see how diners enjoyed his meal. And he is amazing. He's created quite a gourmet feast for us today, and we just are loving every minute of it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Those are Eskimo kisses. We're at Chef Mickey's and we got to kiss Mickey on the nose. And everyone was wearing aprons. That was Fantastic! It was fantastic. I think it's safe to say it looks like the Pachecos are having a great time. And when we come back, we'll meet another family, this time with teenagers. They're seeking adventure, which includes riding a high-speed thrill ride unlike any other. We're going to tag along, so don't go away. Welcome back to What You Get for the Money Vacations Walt Disney World Resort. I'm Tracy Gallagher. The Persings are from New Hope, Pennsylvania. Mom Vladka has three boys ranging in age from 9 to 15. Vladka is an avid traveler and has taken her boys on vacations all around the world. We love to travel the world. It's in our blood. We've lived in so many places and now we are here in Walt Disney World uh, ready to take a vacation. This family loves a new adventure and is excited about experiencing all that Walt Disney World has to offer. The Persings vacation package includes a three-night, four-day stay at a value resort. They chose Disney's Pop Century Resort because they like the pop culture themes from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Their package also includes a four-day Magic Your Way base package with park hopping and water park options. With these passes, the Persings can visit numerous parks in one day, including Disney's Water Parks and Disney Quest, an indoor interactive theme park. Hi, guys. 
Ladies, Vodka, Yvonne, Sebastian, and Marco, good to see you. Good to see nice you. Nice to see you as well. You and I understand you're thrill seekers, huh? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, what do you want to do here at Walt Disney World that's thrilling? Well, I want to ride the new Mount Everest, which is going to be awesome. Awesome, dude. What about you? Just everything. There's so much things to do. What about the characters? Anyone want to see I'm the characters? I like it. Aw, good, Sebastian. And Vodka? I just want to kick off my boots and enjoy this glorious weather. That sounds good. I'm right there with you. But I think your boys have a lot of adrenaline bottled up, so we should probably hit the park. Yes, let's okay. go. Okay? Sure. To kick off their adventure, the family heads over to Disney's Animal Kingdom. This is the largest of the theme parks, covering 403 acres. The centerpiece is the Tree of Life, which stands 14 stories high and is an incredible 50 feet wide at the trunk. These thrill seekers want to make Expedition Everest their first stop. The newest of all of Disney's coasters, it also happens to be one of the tallest attractions in Walt Disney World. Everest is an incredible attraction. You actually get on a runaway train. Ooh, let's go! And you end up spiraling down backwards through all these fun drops and spirals, and you literally come in contact with the Yeti. The Yeti measures in at 22 feet tall, making it the largest and most complex animatronic figure ever created by Disney. Well, the effects are so great. The Yeti around, it makes it a little scary. I'm always nervous in the beginning, and then at the end, I just totally love it. Next, Vladka and the boys decide to get some star treatment at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Here, the family can take center stage as the stars of their own Hollywood adventure. One of the most popular thrill rides at Disney's Hollywood Studios is the Tower of Terror. My name is Brendan, and I will be your final bellhop for today. This ride intertwines an old Hollywood theme with the sci-fi TV series, The Twilight Zone. A little scared? You gonna do this? Once loaded on the elevator, guests will experience a 13-story drop. Yeah! yeah. Tower utilizes a randomized drop sequence, making sure you never experience the same ride twice. We survived. Great. We survived. I just find the dropping really scary because you don't know when you're going to stop. It would be random, so you literally come off your seat. If you feel the need for speed, then you'll love our next attraction, Lights, Motor, Action, an extreme stunt show that features high-speed car, motorcycle, and jet ski chases. Need for speed! Lights, Motor, Action, our extreme stunt show is set in a venue in the south of France, and it tells guests all about how they do those great car and motorcycle stunts in the movies. The 77,000 square foot facility is one of the largest stages on the property, allowing the drivers more room for stunts in the 30 minute show. The motorcycles and the explosions were amazing. That's probably the best show I've ever seen. The Persings Vacation Package allows them to hop over to the Magic Kingdom, where they want to ride Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. This runaway train ride was inspired by the scenic Monument Valley in Arizona. Ready for this? I like the cave in the beginning. It was like dark and you didn't know what was going on. All of a sudden you get all this spray of water around you. It's one to remember. With three thrill rides checked off their list, there's still plenty more in store for the Persings. When we come back, we're going on a safari at Disney's Animal Kingdom. And that's where we'll meet our next family, who's after a little rest and relaxation. Welcome back to What You Get For The Money Vacations Walt Disney World Resort. I'm Tracy Gallagher. 
Pam and Doug Rowe are from Wethersfield, Connecticut. They've been married for 31 years and have been coming here since their honeymoon. Uh, it's a great place to uh, relax and unwind. We don't go to the parks as much as when we had the kids with us, but the, between the restaurants and the great weather, it's just a great place to be. Now that their two kids are all grown up, they come to Walt Disney World for a very tranquil vacation experience. As part of their $1,600 package, Pam and Doug will be staying two nights and three days at a deluxe resort. The couple picked Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge for the opportunity to see wildlife right outside their hotel room. They also chose the two-day Magic Your Way package with the dining and wine option. Hi, Pam, Doug, good to see you guys. Hi. Hi. Now, why do you keep coming back here since your kids are all grown up? What's in it for you now? I come here in search of relaxation and, and just a wonderful time. And when I leave here, I feel more energized. I just love it here. Well, what do you do to unwind while you're here? I will play a little golf and tennis and mostly walk, so we uh, lose some weight before we go out to all the great places <laughs> for dinner. Smart strategy. <laughs> well, let's go. Let's not keep you waiting any longer. Pam and Doug love live theater, so one of the first things they want to check out is the Festival of the Lion King show at Disney's Animal Kingdom. The interactive musical was inspired by the movie. The Festival of the Lion King, I hear it's great. The Festival of the Lion King is for everyone of all ages. We have aerialists, we have singers, dancers, incredible costumes, acrobats, and it's all to the music from the Lion King. Little did Doug know that he would become part of the show by demonstrating his wild animal noises. One, two, three! <laughs> The colors were fantastic. It was a great show. He was a warthog. <laughs> if I had a little more time, I could have done that better. Next on the couple's list is to head over to Epcot. This is the theme park where visitors can celebrate the fascinating cultures and wonders of the world and explore the possibilities of the future. The Rose set off for a journey around 11 countries at Epcot's World Showcase Walk. It's great to walk around Epcot. It's just great exercise. You feel great. It's just a very relaxing time, just the two of us. The 1.3 mile walk will take them from Canada to Mexico, with tons of live entertainment, shopping, restaurants, and attractions to explore. Big smile. Located on the reflective lagoon, this is a great place to enjoy an afternoon. We feature 11 countries in World Showcase. We have about 1,800 cast members who are actually from these countries that bring the experiences together in an incredible way. My little badger. Woohoo! Just loving the walk around. It's a gorgeous day. We're seeing all the countries. We've seen Canada. We've been to England. There's something always changing in Epcot. There's always something new to see. The weather's perfect, and we're having a great time. For a unique dining experience, Pam and Doug are going to try the Flying Fish Cafe. Located at Disney's Boardwalk Resort, this restaurant is renowned for its show kitchen, extensive wine list, and unique seafood cuisine. Dinner here isn't just a meal, it's an experience. Pam and Doug will be eating here with their dining and wine option that's included in their $1,600 price point. The Flying Fish Restaurant provides a bit of a whimsical view of what the Atlantic Boardwalk was like. This is unbelievable. As you might suspect from the name, it's a lot of seafood and you can get a great glass of wine. On property today, many of our chefs are sommeliers. And that just creates an extra special dining experience for our guests. This sauce is unbelievable. Do you really like yours? I love this. I never had leeks before. We had a great time and it would, this is definitely on our places to come next time for a great meal. After dinner, they catch an amazing sunset at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. Complete with an early 1940s inspired Atlantic Boardwalk, the couple take in some beautiful views and have a little old fashioned fun. Disney's Boardwalk Resort is a great place to be at night. Lots of entertainment. You can take a stroll on the boardwalk. You can rent a Surrey bike. It's also within walking distance to both Epcot and Disney's Hollywood Studios. That's nice. 
Look back, honey. This is not me. Look, we're too big. <laughs> Your turn. What I love best about the boardwalk is it reminds me of when I was a little girl in New Jersey, just like walking along, having pictures taken, as well as walking along and looking at the beautiful, beautiful view. Around here is just breathtaking. Absolutely lots of fun. Now don't go anywhere, because when we return, we'll check in on the Pacheco family. And this said on the back. And later, we'll experience some thrills at Typhoon Lagoon. Welcome back to What You Get for the Money Vacations Walt Disney World Resort. I'm Tracy Gallagher. We're now going to check back in with the Pacheco family, who have two daughters, ages five and six. With the Pacheco's $1,600 price point, they find out there are lots of great things to do with their kids. Do you guys want to go see Donald and Goofy? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. The family has decided to spend the day exploring Disney's Animal Kingdom. The first place they want to check out is the Tusker House restaurant. The safari-themed character breakfast is included in their vacation meal plan. It's a real happy, energetic atmosphere. It has the feeling of uh, almost like an African safari. Who's that? Donald Duck! Here he comes! Oh, there's Donald! This is Donald Duck. Haley, age five, and Sydney, age six, are huge fans of the film Finding Nemo, so everyone heads over to catch Finding Nemo the Musical. This underwater adventure brings Nemo and friends to life with colorful costumes and amazing puppets. Oh, with all the singing and dancing in there, the girls were going crazy. I like cry. They were all looking to find Nemo. It was a great musical. We had a wonderful time. It was amazing. After the show, the girls are ready for more adventures. We're going to the boneyard. We're going to the boneyard. The boneyard is a replica of a dinosaur dig site where kids can play on slides and explore tunnels. Well, the boneyard is located in Dinoland, USA, and it's a paleontology dig site. You can slide, crawl, play, jump around, and we have a Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton in there that you can dig up and find all kinds of little fossils and artifacts in there. If mommy and daddy were a little bit younger, it would have been a blast. They were digging up bones. They were running around like wild women. The next day, the Pachecos head on over to check out Epcot. Their first stop is a visit to the seas with Nemo and friends. I told you these girls love everything Nemo, didn't I? Here they climb aboard clam mobiles in an underwater journey to find Nemo. Look at the big fish. The ride integrates characters from the animated film as they swim alongside actual fish inside a real aquarium. We had to keep looking for Nemo. We went through all, all the different fish tanks, huh? It was so real. I can't believe they can do something like that nowadays. Right next door, the girls get a chance to actually talk with one of their very favorite Nemo characters at Turtle Talk with Crush. We've been able to take Finding Nemo and bring it to life. Children and adults alike get to go into a theater and actually see digital animated technology come to life through great storytelling. What is your name? Hey. Oh, dude, the hey. Do nice to meet you, little dude. Crush actually talks to children and teaches them in a very fun and whimsical way what living in the ocean is all about. You know what I heard? I heard that you speak the Espanol, dude. Is that true, dude? Sea. Ooh, the sea, dude. I totally <laughs> love the sea. You know what? I totally live in the sea. It really, truly is amazing to watch how kids and adults interact with a turtle undersea. Gnarly. The last item on the Pacheco's must-do list is to spend a day at Disney's Hollywood Studios. The girls decide to check out Playhouse Disney, where they can sing and dance with some of their favorite characters from Disney television. Playhouse Disney is our most popular attraction for our younger set. For those guests that watch the Disney Channel and Playhouse Disney, 
we bring that to life here in a 30-minute show. Performing in the show are characters from Handy Manny, Little Einsteins, and the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. The girls watch Little Einstein at home all the time, so it's great to see him in person. I think they loved Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. It's one of their favorite shows. There are even some surprise effects when bubbles fall down on the audience. There's so many bubbles. And we were popping them like this. Boop, 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 boop. With multiple performances daily, families are offered lots of flexibility in planning their day. You loved it? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. When it's time to eat, the family visits the 50s Primetime Cafe. This is a chance for the family to step back into the 1950s, but there are some rules to follow. No elbows on the table. You keep your hands clean. You eat your vegetables. Yes, no spitballs. You know, a dining experience at 50s Primetime, one of our most popular table service restaurants, is a lot like your mom or your uncle or your cousin is actually serving you dinner. It's not laundry day. We don't need you dirtying things up over here, okay? Okay. Oh, Daddy, no ice cream for you. <laughs> I'm getting in trouble because I keep putting my elbows on the table. She's running a tight ship around here, but good food and good shakes. We're excited. When we come back, we'll check back in with the Pershings as they explore an indoor amusement park where the virtual world becomes a reality. Welcome back to What You Get for the Money Vacations while Disney World Resort. I'm Tracy Gallagher. The Persings, our family with teens, are heading to downtown Disney to check out Disney Quest, a five-story interactive theme park. The Water Park Fun and More ticket option provides admission to the water parks, Disney Quest, and Pleasure Island based on the number of days of the Magic Your Way ticket. Since the Persings have a four-day Magic Your Way ticket, they get four admissions to use however they choose. Today, they're off to Disney Quest. Disney Quest is the only indoor theme park on Disney's grounds, and it's an interactive experience dedicated to games that let the guests choose their own adventure. Yeah, let's do something like really complicated. The Persing's first stop is Cyberspace Mountain, a simulation ride where they'll get to design their very own roller coaster, adding all the loops and drops they want, because when they're done, they're the ones who get to ride it. There goes nothing. Oh, oh yeah, baby. I can ride this all day. So you're like do barreling around and then upside down. Screwdriver. Uh, yes. Yeah. It was really cool. Next, the family takes a water rafting adventure without the water at Disney's virtual jungle cruise. Ready, everyone? Here, the Persings get a chance to paddle down a prehistoric river and dodge dinosaurs. <laughs> right. Pocahontas. Oh. <laughs> left, left. You need to take a right. Left, left. left. Rapid, right. watch out. Oh. Woo Disney Quest was just so fantastic. It was five floors of video games. Oh, that was some of the best video games like I've ever played. It was so much fun. I really, really liked it. It's time to apply the sunblock and head on over to Disney's Typhoon Lagoon. The Oasis-themed water park is home to one of the world's largest wave pools. Oh, oh, so oh my God. The Persings vacation package gives them a water park option, which they decide to use at Disney's Typhoon Lagoon. With bathing suits on, the family is excited to cool off and have some underwater adventures. Whatever you want to do, whatever's more fun. Yeah. Crush and Gusher is the first thing they want to check out. This water slide is more of a roller coaster on water than your typical slide. The best part is pretty much everything. Oh, it's great. The Persings are looking to go snorkeling in the Caribbean, and the answer is Shark Reef. The saltwater reef allows them to swim alongside stingrays, bonnet heads, leopard sharks, and tropical fish. Oh, there you go. Woo! A la 
love the hammerhead shark and then all the colorful fish around. Just like being on the coral reef in the Caribbean. It was a wonderful experience. My favorite thing about Typhoon Lagoon was also the shark wave. I really liked the leopard shark and it was cool. Having worked up quite an appetite. You hungry guys? Yeah. yeah I'm starving. Their next visit is to Epcot. Here they plan to get a quick bite to eat and check out even more rides. Since everyone likes something different, the perfect spot for lunch is Sunshine Seasons, a food court that is quick and offers the family a great variety. I'm putting soy sauce on my sushi because soy sauce goes good with sushi. This is a great place to get some food because everybody got something different. It's a great variety of food. Really, really good choice for our lunch. Attractions are only steps away from the food court, so the minute they're done, they're back on the rides. I want to do Test Track. One of the most popular attractions at Epcot is Test Track. With speeds accelerating to 65 miles per hour, it's no wonder the ride clocks in as the fastest ride at Walt Disney World. Test Track is an incredible experience to look at the history of building automobiles and our guests experience indoor factory-like settings and then race outdoors for a full test run where they hit that 65 mile an hour speed. Let's go! Let's go! It just really takes them into a whole new world they never experienced. Awesome ride. I absolutely loved it. I love those hairpin bands. They pull you around at great speed. I really, really loved the ride. Yeah, I thought it was like really awesome and uh, just that we were going really fast. Yeah. Every boy's dream. There's still one more ride on the kids' to do list. So the family hops over to Disney's Hollywood Studios for a ride on the rock and roller coaster. This thrill ride is all indoors and features a launch unlike any other. Rock and Roller Coaster by Aerosmith is perhaps our most popular attraction. Theme to Aerosmith's music. The start is really exciting. You go from zero to 60 in 2.8 seconds. It kind of held you back and then for the suspense and then they finally launch you and you just shoot off. I like the flips because they didn't just go up, they went diagonal. I think like out of all coasters, it's the best in the entire park. That was so good. When we return, we'll check back in with our couple as they unwind with a round of golf and a trip to the spa. Welcome back to What You Get for the Money Vacations Walt Disney World Resort. I'm Tracy Gallagher. Pam and Doug Rowe love to play golf, and with five different courses here at Disney World, deciding which one to play is almost as much fun as the game itself. The Rows have included a round of golf for two in their Magic Your Way vacation package, while still staying under their $1,600 price point. They have chosen to play on the Lake Buena Vista Golf Course. This challenging 18-hole course has even hosted PGA Tour events. Good morning, how you doing? Good, uh, we're here to play a little golf. Okay. We need everything, we need okay, shoes, we need and, shoes clubs. and everything. Okay. Walt Disney World's five golf courses, including a nine-hole walking course, have earned the resort Golf Magazine's gold medal endorsement as one of the top 25 golf vacation destinations in the country. I loved watching Doug play golf, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous setting. Good job. Thank you. The course was challenging but fair. Very interesting and very uh, visually beautiful. Mm. We played uh, 18 holes of golf and had a great time. We have a lot more fun things to do today. Mm. 
Next, our couple is off to the spa at Saratoga Springs Resort, where they will be indulging in a 60-minute couple's massage. We've both had massages before, but this is our first couple's massage. The spa is the largest on Disney property and offers numerous options for those who seek a little extra relaxation while on vacation. And after a round of golf, what a treat to have a massage. Ready to go? Yeah. Let's, Let's go. go. There are two full-service spas in Disney World that feature top-of-the-line services, including the 60-minute couples massage. The massages for Pam and Doug total $230 for both. But if you ask them... This is so wonderful. It's so relaxing. It's priceless. After a relaxing afternoon at the spa, it's time for another signature dinner. This time, the Rose are taking a trip to the Yachtsman Steakhouse at the Yacht Club Resort. This restaurant is known for its amazing service and nautical atmosphere. The Yachtsman Steakhouse is for our guests who really love steak. We have aged beef. They also can have some seafood, some chicken. They have prime rib. That Yachtsman's filet is calling me out. One of the best parts of the Yachtsman Steakhouse are the cast members. Many of them have been there for 20 plus years and they love taking care of our guests. Sir, your filet mignon? Oh, looks great. Thank you. Thank you very much. The restaurant even features a glass encased beef aging room where you can view and select your own cut of meat. I ordered the lamb and it was absolutely delicious. We had a great meal. Disney has so many great restaurants and it's just fabulous. It's a nice relaxed atmosphere and it's totally enjoyable. And since the rows are on the Disney dining plan, they don't have to worry about picking up the check. When we come back, we'll see how each family did sticking to their $1,600 vacation budget. Welcome back to What You Get for the Money Vacations Walt Disney World Resort. I'm Tracy Gallagher. Our three families packed a lot of fun, entertainment, and even some relaxation into their vacations. Remember, each one had a budget of $1,600. Now let's take a look at what some of the highlights were for each. All of the family's packages include transportation from the Orlando Airport via Disney's Magical Express. The Pacheco family came in on budget at $1,598. Their package included five days and four nights at the Value Resort, All Star Music. They bought four five-day park passes, allowing them to visit all four theme parks, and added a five-day dining package so they could dine at some of Disney's most popular themed restaurants while never having to worry about the bill. Hey, they left their shrimp for you. How's that? Is that good, honey? What an incredible place to bring our girls. We knew we were in for a great trip, but never dreamed it'd be like this. We got to pack so many fun things to do in just a short amount of time. We went on the small world and got to see the princesses. We got to do a character breakfast. It was fun. How about the Dumbo ride? <laughs> that was awesome, huh? We almost need another vacation from this vacation because it was just action-packed nonstop. was awesome, but we have to go home now. Chowder, everybody! Let's go! The Persing family spent $1,591 of their $1,600 budget with their three-night, four-day stay at Disney's value resort, Pop Century. That's nice. I like this. No, uh, I'm staying right here. <laughs> They opted for the four-day Magic Your Way package with the Water Park Fun and More ticket option, allowing them to visit Disney's Water Park Typhoon Lagoon and Disney Quest, an indoor interactive amusement park. This has been one of the most wonderful vacations I've taken. I wanted to make sure that the boys have plenty to do, somewhere where they would not get bored. <laughs> My most favorite was the Tower of Terror. Just awesome. I love rock and roller coaster. It was just so fun with the Aerosmith music playing. It was so wonderful to be together as a family, and I'm sure that the guys would love to do it again. Oh, I definitely, definitely want to ride those roller coasters again. Yeah, I was really excited. Guys, let's rock.
The Rowe family also came in under budget at $1,539 with their two nights and three days at a deluxe resort, Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Their vacation also included a two-day Magic Your Way package, plus a dining and wine option, a round of golf for two, and a couple's massage. Boy, I could get used to this. We had an absolutely fabulous time. We've been to the boardwalk and we did some shopping. We're a young 55. You know, I think when people think they're older, they can't have as much fun. And I'll tell you what, my children, they couldn't keep up with us. We had a great time. To another great vacation. 31 years since our honeymoon here and, and we'll be back. Well, it sure seems like everyone got just what they wanted and stayed well within their budget. Thanks for watching What You Get for the Money Vacations While Disney World Resort. I'm Tracy Gallagher.